Well, hello guys, uh, Mike here, coming to you guys with a little tutorial here on uh, how to uh, use one Ethernet connector uh, on two computers. And uh, I mean, this is going to get a lot of confusion done because of the title and all that, but, but you need a one of the computers to have a dual gigabit connection or dual uh, Ethernet connection. It doesn't mean that doesn't have to be gigabit. I just said gigabit because it's like the norm. Uh, but um, yeah, so here, so you can see that I have two different systems here. Here I have uh, YouTube opened up on one of the systems. I'm running one through VGA and another one through DVI. Uh, this system is running an Intel Xeon E500 and uh, 5450. As you can see here, different system, totally different system. To this one, this one has a connection. The 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 first Xeon and this does not, as you can see here, uh, it does not have a connection. It does show up that little triangle over there because I have connected other computers through Ethernet, but not actually uh, uh, have a wireless connection. What the fuck? Okay, so sorry about that. I had to check the temperature thingy. So now you're on the machine that has access to the internet. So what you want to do now uh, is want to do uh, Windows key plus X. Well, actually, that's on the other computer. Sorry. There we go. And now you want to run as admin. Yes. And you want to type IP config. And you want to get these um, details written down. So I'm just going to go. Uh, hold on. Uh, Windows print screen here real quick. And then after that, you can close out of that. Then you can go down here and uh, um, open network and sharing center. Uh, you want to go to uh, change adapter settings. And uh, here we go. So these are your two connections. So what you want to do after that is just want to select both and uh, bridge connections. Let that do its thing. There we go. And now, is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. So, Ethernet, you want to go to Ethernet, Ethernet protocol properties. And then you want to uh, insert the uh, settings that you took from the other screenshot here. So, hold on. Let me just grab that. Uh, use following IP address. So, Okay, this is the keyboard I'm using, so I'm just gonna go... Uh, now, in the server... Hold on, let me look up uh, Google's DNS server. Sorry, uh, 8888. Okay, and uh, okay, so close, and uh, there we go, computer one, let's check if it has internet or not, so I'm just going to have a YouTube video here, I'm just going to reload the page, there we go, so I'm going to go over to the other computer here real quick.
So yeah, um, hope this helped you. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys in the next video. Or next tutorial, if I have any that interests you. Because most likely the people that are going to watch this are people that are looking for this. So yeah.